My name is Amalou Mamdou Yusuf from Proto. Our group is discussing about the styling production. The general process flow of the styling production is using by catalytic dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene. This reaction consists of two methods with each the adiabatic dehydrogenation, isothermal dehydrogenation, and lastly is distillation of the styrene. First is catalytic dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene. What is dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene? This step is uh, about 85% of commercial per commercial have been across uh, the country. Uh, the, this process is using a vapor paste which uh, applied with steam to convert the ethyl benzene to styrene. The main product of ethyl benzene is will produce uh, styrene plus hydrogen which is a reversible reaction and endothermic reaction. Most of nowadays industry use adiabatic technique rather than isothermal technique. So I will continue to adiabatic technique. Adiabatic dehydrogenation which is the reaction is carried out on the adiabatic condition. The temperature is about 640 degrees Celsius on inside the reactor. The stream is flowed to the reactor which is containing a catalyst pack of the catalyst wind produce about 35% of conversion. Then, the stream will continue to the second reactor will produce 65% of the conversion. What is the special of the adiabatic dehydrogenation is it contains a stream and steam. The steam is, will help to increase the heat and to make the catalyst more clean and to increase the conversion adiabatic. So, adiabatic dehydrogenation is the most low cost for industrial, uh, but it's, it could need a, a continuous supply of steam. So the process is simple. The ethyl benzene will carry out in the reactor will contain of the pack of catalyst and continue to the second reactor to further of conversion of the ethyl benzene. Next is, is isothermal dehydrogenation. Isothermal of dehydrogenation is carried out uh, in the reactor like a heat exchanges concept, which is uh, the stream in and other stream is in. Which is first stream is containing of ethyl benzene, uh, uh, the other stream is containing a uh, hot fuel gas, which is at the same time uh, the stream of ethyl benzene reacted inside the reactor containing a pack a pack of catalyst and the hot flue gas will heat, heat the stream uh, to produce the styrene and hydrogen. So the isothermal dehydrogenation is the temperature is much lower than adiabatic but the cost is highly cost than the adiabatic, adiabatic reactor. The disadvantage of the isothermal uh, dehydrogenation is this uh, particularly the size limitation on the reactor. So, the isothermal reactor system it use a molten salt mixture of sodium, lithium, potassium carbonate as the heating medium. So, the last process is uh, distillation. So, distillation is uh, the distilling is to distill to achieve about sixty four percent of purity than other substance. So this is included in three steps of distillation. First is we remove the benzene and toluene. Second, we we'll further the ethyl benzene to recycle to make sure the recycle to produce more styrene. And lastly, the styrene is clean in the distillation, final distillation to remove all the others and other products. So finally the End of product is about 64% security of the style. My name is Nur Atika Zaid. So now I will proceed with catalyst. Okay, catalyst is a substance that is added to a reaction to increase the rate of reaction. It will reduce the activation of energy or change the reaction mechanism. Okay, this diagram is about the energy profile where P A is for activation energy. Activation energy is the minimum energy 
required for the reaction to occur. So, catalyst will reduce the activation energy in order to produce the same product, which is uh, styrene. Okay. Next type of catalyst. Okay, we use the process of dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene in order to produce styrene. Uh, so, the catalyst that involves is uh, iron 3 oxide. Fe2O3. In catalytic, in catalytic pack reactor, the conversion of ethyl benzene to styrene occurs by contacting the dilute ethyl benzene with iron trioxide catalyst. However, there are many other catalysts that can be used uh, in this process to produce styrene, which are zinc oxide, magnesium oxide, cadmium oxide, shell 1O5 catalyst. Shell 1O5 catalyst has uh, the good uh, physical properties and good activity. It also gives a uh, fair yield. Then uh, the market for styrene uh, has become more competitive, so many manufacturers seek for new catalysts that produce higher yield. Okay, then the catalyst properties. Okay, as uh, I mentioned before, the catalyst used is iron trioxide. Iron trioxide is an organic compound that also named as ferric oxide. Actually, iron trioxide uh, is widely used in many uh, industrial and also chemical operations. Uh, iron trioxide is one type of heterogeneous catalyst. Heterogeneous catalyst is the form of where the phase of the catalyst differs from that of the reactant. Um, usually, the heterogeneous catalyst is in uh, liquid, uh, sorry, in solid state, where the uh, product and reactant are in uh, liquid or gas state. Then, uh, this is the chemical structure for iron trioxide. Okay, this table is about the properties of uh, catalyst iron trioxide, where the compound formula has two or three elements, iron, oxygen, compound type, metallic oxide, state solid, molecular weight, appearance, melting point, boiling point, density, solubility, and many others. So, that's all from me. Thank you. Sabrina. So today I will present about the classification of catalysts. There are several, several classes of reactions such as hydrogenation, dehydration, hydrate, dehydration, and isomerization. Uh, for the production of styrene from the ethyl benzene in catalytic pack back reactor, we will focus on the reaction involved in dehydrogenation. Dehydration involves breaking of two carbon hydrogen bonds with the simultaneous formation of hydrogen molecule and a molecule containing a double carbon carbon bond, which usually represents desired product. The double bond is a highly reactive bond that permits uh, the use of molecule which contain it as intermediate for the production of styrene. The hydration reaction appears very simple and contributed to make the development of technolo technologies that allow for reliable and efficient industry application. Okay, next, uh, the catalyst used in this reaction, which is the iron oxide. Uh, the dehydration process involves the catalytic reaction of ethylbenzene. Fresh ethylbenzene is mixed with a recycled steam and vaporized. Uh, steam is then uh, added before feeding the effluent into a tray of two or two four reactor. This process is involved in vapor phase of a solid catalyst. Steam is used to provide heat of this reaction and prevent excessive coking or carbon formation. Coking uh, coke is the solid product resulting from the destructive uh, distillation of coal in closed chamber by imperfect combustion. The major reaction in this process is reversible. Endothermic uh, conversion of ethyl benzene to sterile and hydrogen. Uh, this reaction uh, then proceeds thermally with the low yield and catalytically with high yield. Uh, competing thermal reduction will degrade, degrade ethyl benzene to benzene and carbon. Styrene also react catalytically to dolmine. That's all, thank you.
So in this project, we discuss about the relation of the hydrogenation of ethyl benzene utilized by the protease called iron trioxide to form sarin. So the mechanism is divided into four steps. The first step is absorption of ethyl benzene to iron trioxide. So the first step, the ethyl benzene will attach to the active size of the iron trioxide surface. So you can see that from the diagram, the benzene brick is attached to the iron ion of the iron dioxide and the two of the hydrogen atom from the ethyl benzene is attached to the catalyst uh, iron dioxide. So the next one is reaction. So for step two, the dehydrogenation of the two benzene will occur. So you can see that from the diagram, the Two of the hydrogen atoms from the ethyl benzene will leave the original molecule and attach to the catalyst. And uh, at this stage, the iron three oxide is reduced to iron two oxide. So the step three is absorption of starin. So after the reaction occurs, the starin is formed from the ethyl benzene. You can see that for diagram, a double bond is formed in the benzene. So the molecule is now four styrene. So now the styrene is ready to leave the catalyst. For the last step, the ion three oxide is under no reoxidation and it can be reduced for the next reaction. That's all from me. Thank you. My name is Anik. And we will continue about the standard safety implement according to the type of reactor. Uh, what styrene can do uh, to us human and environment? The styrene is mildly poisonous and inflammable, and it can polymerize uncontrollable under specific condition and situation. Exposure to high amount of styrene can be dangerously toxic effect to wildlife, particularly aquatic organism. Styrene has low toxicity if using small amount of it, but if the styrene had contact with ice, the ice will be painful, but it result in transient damage. If styrene uh, contact to our skin in short term, it will not cause any harm, but if styrene does contact to skin for long term, it may cause swelling and mystery. Precaution must be taken to prevent polymer build up on surface above the liquid level of tank and containers. Storage in a permeable atmosphere tank is preferred to control the stain. Thank you.